hello welcome back to my channel if you have been following me you know that i'm a malayali i started out creating videos in my youtube channel in english thinking that it would reach the maximum number of people but this is one such video which i wish i could do in malayalam because beef fry is such an emotion for a malayali my name is divya sahadevan and i used to keep a cookbook logging my mom's favorite recipes the ones which i love i love this idicha beef fry recipe so this time i thought instead of writing this down in my cookbook let me make a video on it so that it's there for my reference as well as that i get to share it with you guys this recipe gives a nice spicy crispy and a really chewy beef fry it is honestly one of my favorite as way to eat beef so without saying any more let's head over to the kitchen So the first part of this recipe is to cook the beef and I'm using 1 kg of beef here for that you need a whole garlic two onions chopped some curry leaves and around a 1 inch piece of ginger add a good sprinkling of salt around 2 teaspoons and to that a teaspoon of the turmeric powder and 2 teaspoons of the chili powder to this I'm adding the chopped onions and once that is done you're going to um lightly mash up or you know uh, smash the garlic and the ginger you don't want to completely make it a paste but just kind of a coarse mixture and it should look something like this you can do this in your grinder as well add this to your beef add in a few uh, leaves of the curry leaves add a little bit of coconut oil and give this a good mix You can alter the spice level to suit your uh, you know preference uh, but I think this is best eaten a little spicy. But if that doesn't work for you feel free to cut down on your chili powder. So once it's nicely mixed transfer it to your pressure cooker and then you need to cook it on high heat for one whistle and then following that give it 4 to 5 whistles on medium to low heat until it's fully cooked. So when you open it it's going to have some water which is you know come off your beef and it's going to have this water and you want to completely cook it until all this water evaporates and you should have it nice and dry and looking like this. So at this point once it's cooled down you're going to grind this in your grinder until you get like a coarse shredded kind of texture looking like this. You don't really want to mince it up too much. So I've shredded the entire beef and then uh, now is the portion where you want to fry it and for that you need 20 around 20 shallots you need some curry leaves a handful of dry chili 2 tablespoons of um, garam masala and a whole garlic So first I'm going to take the dry chili and just give it two buzzes in the grinder just to powder it and it looks something like this and then I'm putting the garlic and the small onions into my chopper and then uh, just chopping it down into small pieces so if you don't have a chopper you can very well you know just chop it off in, with a knife Now I added some coconut oil into a pan and I'm adding my chopped uh, small onions and garlic and at this point you want to really let it fry nicely you can add a little bit of salt and sugar at this point the sugar just helps with the caramelization of the onions it's a little secret so next you just want to fry it until it turns nice and golden brown and it looks something like this at this point we're going to be adding our dried chili which we had um powdered you can see again you can adjust the spice level to suit your you know preference adding a spoon of turmeric powder give it a good mix and once it's you know left that raw kind of smell you can add in your beef at this point and you can see just notice the color it's kind of like a light brown color right So now you mix this well in your uh, mixture just combining all the oils and the chili together. You can taste at this point to make sure the salt is enough. You can adjust the salt at this point. And here you're going to add in your garam masala, some curry leaves and again give it a good stir. 
and now we want to really just cook this on medium to low heat until it nicely crisps up or you know loses that moisture in your beef you'll notice it you know when you are just frying it that it gets dry and it gets a little darker you don't want to overdo it though because if it kind of burns then it's going to have that you know uh, bitter taste so you don't go all the way so when it looks something like this and you'll get that you know a crunchy feel when you're stirring and that's the time when it is done and it looks like this and that's it you guys this is your idicha beef fry it is very famous in kerala i hope you guys try it have it with rice have it with roti it's amazing and a must try i hope you enjoyed this recipe if you did make sure you check out some of my other amma's great recipes which i have on my youtube channel so if you like this recipe give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my channel i'll see you again next week with a great new video until then take care stay safe it's me divi Signing out. Let me let me take a